Let's look at an example of how to give specific feedback. Let's explore delivering feedback to a learner who is shy. You could outright tell her that she's shy, and while this is giving her feedback, it's not exactly specific. The result is that the learner understands that she's shy, but she doesn't know what to do to correct it. Let's try instead to make the feedback more specific. Instead of telling her she's shy, we worded instead that she needs to speak clearly and loud enough for the entire team to hear during rounds. As a consequence, the learner now understands the specific behaviors she needs to modify to meet the standard expected of her. Let's take the same feedback scenario and apply the sandwich technique. First, we give the student praise, in this case, her calming presence on the wards. Next, we give her the constructive feedback that she needs to speak more loudly and clearly. And, because we were very specific, the student knows what to do to improve. We close the session by giving her more encouraging praise, which is, in this case, that she is doing a better job of presenting patient histories. We close this module by leaving you with a few tips on delivering feedback. It's always key to use non-judgmental language. Additionally, there's only so many points of feedback any one of us can handle at a time, so it's key that you limit your feedback to two to four points. As you close out the feedback session, make sure you elicit the trainee's suggestions for their improvement plan. You might also suggest some additional strategies on how to improve. Lastly, ask the learner what they heard you say during this meeting. You may need to summarize the encounter. If you do, be sure to include positives, areas for improvement, and readdress the specific plan for what they will do going forward.